Oh, way to go, sister. This might go way over your head, but it's okay because we'll come back tomorrow. So this is good, actually. Um, oh, I love it. Oh my God, you guys, I'm nerding out so hard. So I just went to Spoiled Rotten and TJ Maxx to get some stuff for the people that are coming to Summit. And I found this planner for myself that starts in August and goes through 2017. And I'm like nerding out hard on it right now. I didn't think something that cost six bucks would get me so freaking excited. <laughs> um, okay, anyway. Welcome, Team Diamond Tribe. I don't have a lot to shout out right now. We're, we're kind of slacking on the points this month, but Paige has two and Nicole has two. Shout out. I'm going to give myself a shout out because I'm at 12, y'all. Um, not to like brag or anything, just let you guys know that it is possible and there are people out there that need our helps even when everybody's vacationing in the slow months of July. Um, and I do want you guys to keep that in mind. Like we've got months that are way easier in this business and we've got months that are super, super hard. Uh, summer months tend to be hard because people, you know, we, like spring was a little bit easier. People were pushing hard to get their summer bods. You know, now the kids are home from school. They're, they're um, going on summer vacations. Uh, you know, they've already given up on their summer body and they're gonna wait till, you know, the kids go back to school, whatever it is. Um, so this, around this time, July, August, can be very, very hard, uh, which is why you just have to push harder. You just have to share more videos, share more success stories, you know, um, share why you love um, this stuff so much. You just have to do a little bit more of that because what happens is other coaches in the network they were like, oh, it's July, I can slack off too, or their kids are home too. So they're slacking off too, um, which gives you an upper hand if you're still out there being consistent and, um, and sharing your love for health and fitness. Um, and we'll go through a lull again just so you guys are prepared because if you're pushing for it and leading up to it before it hits, it, you'll, you'll do a much better job of of staying afloat during the harder months. Um, but the holiday season is super, super hard. So when we get like after, it's like after Halloween, like people kind of want to still be hot for Halloween. Then like when December, I mean, November hits and it's like, Oh, I'm going to eat like a shit ton of Turkey. And then there's holiday parties and stuff. Um, people crack me up. I'm like, yeah, indulge like once or twice. Like you're going to indulge for two months straight. People. Anyways, people need us. Ah, uh, so that's my spiel about that. I went on longer than I really needed to. Um, today, I really wanted to talk to you guys about Team Cup. Gina's not going to be on a, on a team yet, but we're going to get you on one tomorrow. Is everybody else on a Team Cup? Good. Celeste, are you on one? You're muted. Wait, so say that again. What am I on? Uh, are you on a Team Cup? I don't know what that is. Okay, cool. Um, no. <laughs> don't know. So I need to make myself note. Um, Alesta and Gina, we'll get. I'll get you. I'll get you guys on a cup on a team tomorrow. So okay. team cup is really really cool. Um, I just looked up the statistic. Look, I'm being so good, Missy. You'd be so proud of me. Um, <laughs> coaches who compete for the cup earn up to ten times more money on average than those that don't. So Team Cup is really, really fun. They do it, I think, twice a year, maybe three times. Um, definitely twice. And it, they actually kind of put it towards when the months kind of get slower and harder because it, it makes you push a little bit harder. Um, but the reason I really love them is, first of all, you work in teams of five. So you work in much smaller groups. So like, it would be almost like this call right here. Like We would just be a team working really hard together to change a bunch of lives, as many lives as possible in one month. Um, what I really like about the smaller group aspect is because you get to really take turns leading, right? So one, there is a team captain and there's a team leader that puts the the – the actual team together, but you all kind of take a leadership role and help push each other and share ideas and share challenge ideas. Um, and I've just had a lot of success in the past with my team cups. I think it's really fun to work, um, work with people more one-on-one -on -one that way. You know what I mean? Um, so basically team cup, it starts in August. It'll go for the entire month of August. I'm going to share a quick video with you guys. Um, she gives you seven amazing tips. This chick has won the team cup. I think three different times or something crazy. Um, so basically the more points you get, the more your chances are of winning, but there's all sorts of tiers of prizes. So it's not like you have to be the winner to win a prize. You can win a prize um, for just getting like tier one. 
And even if you don't win prizes, you push so hard and you build awesome relationships with the people on your team. That is like that alone is just super fun and beneficial. Um, so I'm just going to share my screen really quick style because I just want to show you stuff. Okay. Um, you guys left me. There we go. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, so this is kind of Team Cup. Um, whoever your team captain is will register you. So uh, Celeste and Gina, you won't have to worry about registration. I'm going to put you on a team that has a, a leader already, already in place. Um, but we start this on the first to make a commitment to build our business by challenging thousands of other, um, other coaches for a chance to win the Team Beachbody Cup. Uh, that means you get this cup up here, up on the right, and you get your names engraved in it, and it goes up in corporate in Santa Monica. It's kind of cheesy and fun, but it's silly. Um, also, if you win, you get flown, or in my case, I'd probably just get driven in a limo, but you get flown to Santa Monica, and you get to work out with um, one of the celebrity trainers at Beachbody headquarters. So it's just all really cool. Um, coaches who compete, I already said that. So here's just some of the prizes. So I was already there. So tier one, um, I think this is if everybody gets Success Club 5. So everybody on your team hits Success Club 5, which is getting three challenge packs. So in three challenge pack, everybody will get this one of these hats, Team USA or Team Canada. Um, I kind of have my eye on this really cute country heat off the shoulder sweater. How cute is that? Um, so just fun prizes. Here's a skateboard. This is like a one-of-a-kind kind of thing. I think they had a, a Monopoly one time, which was really fun. We should actually get together and play it at some point. You can buy Autumn Calabrese for like $250. It's kind of awesome. <laughs> um, then you can get this Apple Watch for the top uh, two through 10 teams. And the grandpa, is, like I said, gets flown to Beachbody headquarters to work out with one of the celebrity trainers. So just really cool prizes. And really, it's just a fun way to, you know, push your business to the next level and work with other people on the team. Um, so, cause sometimes the team page gets a little bit crazy. There's like, you know, I don't know, 80 of us in there now and, you know, team calls can, can get kind of crazy and it's just really fun to be able to work on smaller teams. Uh, can you see that I switched it to the YouTube channel? Did that show? Okay. So this is a really quick video. It's only five minutes, but I want you guys to take notes. Like I said, this chick has won, I think three times, definitely two times. So she knows what she's talking about. And these are tips that aren't just good for Team Cup Month. These are amazing tips just to run your business. So I'm gonna play this really quick for you guys. Hi, my name is Emily Rabida, and I was team captain of a two-time winning cup team, the Gretzkys. Now it took a lot for us to win our first Team Cup in October of 2013, and even more to win it again in February of this year. So I wanna share with you what I learned during the Team Cup Challenge, and give you seven tips that can help increase your success and hopefully get your name on a leaderboard and even win the Cup. The first tip is to get commitment. This means before the Cup Challenge begins, set expectations and have agreement from all of your team members. You must first make sure you have a strong why and clear, well-defined goals. Come up with a plan and stick to it for the whole month. We got our families involved and especially made sure our spouses were on board and understood what it meant for us to win the Cup a second time. The second tip is to work with a contact list. If you've been consistent with talking to new people every day and building strong relationships, you have a big list of names of people to invite to your next challenge group. Go back to all the no not nows you had in the past and either follow up or invite them directly depending on the previous conversations you had and what kind of relationships you built. We also really focused on the arrival of the new program 21 Day Fix. Since our team had the unique opportunity to meet with Autumn. So pausing that really quick, see we have an awesome opportunity because Country Heat is going to be released in August, so we can really use that for, to build some hype and momentum too. Calories after winning the in October, I came up with an invitation template in which I attached a few pictures of our team working out with her at the Beachbody headquarters. And I sent out the invitation to everyone who ever told me about his or her health and fitness goals. The third tip is to invite, invite, invite. It's a numbers game, so you want to invite as many people as possible to join your next challenge group. Be original, be excited, and make sure to personalize each invitation. To make the message more personal, I would ask, for example, how's the baby doing? Are you getting great results at the gym? Do you have better control on your cravings? Etc. 
he usually invites two people a day, shoot for 10 people a day during the month of the cup. Your technique matters, but what matters most is the number of people you invite. The fourth tip is to treat each week like it's the last. The past cup, we started off very strong. We wanted to start by setting this team goal and then dividing it into individual goals. On the day that 21 Day Fix came out, our goal was to hit 100 success club points as a team on that day. That meant 20 success club points each, which represents 10 challenge packs for each team member. After spending the day on Facebook answering messages, inviting, following up with everyone on our list, we reached our team goal and finished the day with 101 success club points. Awesome. The fifth tip is about team communication and accountability. These components are key throughout each and every day of the Team Cup Challenge. My team connected on our Facebook group all day, sharing every tip and every idea. Every morning on our Facebook group, we would post a motivational picture on which we would add our number of successful points today. At night, we would write our team total and then set up a new team goal for the following day. Our team also used the app Voxer, which is like a walkie-talkie. It allows you to record worst messages and send them out to a distribution list. Sure, there are many ways to communicate efficiently. What matters most is that you find ways that allow you to stay connected every single day. The sixth tip is to be creative. This means that you and your team should come up with creative and interesting ways for people to join your challenge groups. For instance, we decided to host a special challenge group with the five of us together. Some of us made a video to advertise this VIP challenge group on Facebook, and we asked for referrals in our actual challenge groups. And lastly, the seventh tip is about visualization and positive thinking. We decided early on that this was our cup. Before the month was over, we were already talking about our trip to LA and how we couldn't wait to see each other. We even made a collage of our team members and wrote on it that we were the team cup winners for the month of February became the cover picture in our Facebook group. I know positive thinking sounds obvious, but having those visuals around you that focus your thinking on the ultimate goal made a huge difference. So those are my seven tips for Team Cup success. But I should also add that having a no excuses attitude is very powerful. When you want to win, you can't have any excuses. We all had the same goal in mind and we all pushed each other beyond our limits. Now the Gretzkys have formed their own individual teams. I wish them and everybody else great success for the next Team Cup. Alrighty. So, just work for it, right? Like, just you just got to push. She I mean, they had five people and 101 points on, their, on day one of Team Cup. That's 20 success clubs each. That's just... An insane amount of people they must have had to talk to you know it's not like they just talked to 20 people and all 20 people signed up they had to dig deep and contact everybody in Facebook their entire follow-up list um, this takes some work and this takes some time but it's totally totally possible uh, any questions on team cup everybody I know most of you have been in one at least oh my god Parker hi <laughs> you are so cute <laughs> yeah. Hey, I don't know, Whitney. You love me. <laughs> um, any questions on the team cup? All good on that. Okay, good. Um, just a couple things. Something else we have in August. So mark your calendars for August sixth. Uh, if you're in Bakersfield, it's going to actually be the fifth. Uh, that's Super Saturday. It happens every quarter. Uh, if, especially if you're not going to be at Summit, you have got to get to a Super Saturday. Um, I know for sure the one in Bakersfield is awesome. The one down in Huntington Beach is awesome. Uh, we usually do a live workout at the end at both of those. Um, just you hear from other coaches, their struggles and how they got over them. You'll hear a lot about um, our experience at Summit from what we don't tell you with excitement during summit. Um, and yeah, they're just really good things to dial into and, and get to. So that's, um, that's the first, the first weekend of August. And 
If you just Google like Super Saturday, because um, I'm going to be in Vegas on the 6th, so I was going to try and go to theirs. Yeah, go with Paige. Oh my God, go with Paige. That's what I, was, I have. The hard thing is that's like the day of the wedding, so I'm kind of hoping they do it later and then I can go earlier, you know? Yeah, it's usually around like 9 a.m. Yeah, okay. It, I mean, a wedding is a pretty good excuse to not go. <laughs> I mean, but it would be cool if you go. Yeah. Um, and there's, if you just go, what'd you say? Sorry, sorry. It was technically there's Zach's friend, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, if you, I'm trying to get the link really quick right here. Uh, if you just Google or go to the FAQ and just do Beachbody Super Saturday, Okay. Um, and put in whatever area code or zip code, I mean, then you can just, it'll pull up all the ones that are in your area. Okay. Um, Misty's flown from Utah to California before to get to these things. So <laughs> no excuses. <laughs> um, really, that's all I had to say. Uh, Nikki, we're going to be in Summit next week. So there's still going to be a call. Nikki and Trish are going to be running it for you guys, which is going to be awesome. So you don't have to hear me blab for 30 minutes. Um, so I'm excited to hear what they have to share with you guys. Um, feel free to bring any questions or anything like that. They're both rockstar coaches. They've both been doing this for a while. They know their stuff. Um, so definitely dial in and, um, and have a little chat with them. I'll make sure to provide the Zoom link and the, um, and the event page. So that's all set up for you guys. And um, I know I've been saying this all month, but just make sure you are paying attention if we are in at Summit. Uh, we're going to be definitely letting you guys know all about the new products that are coming out. There's always a ton of launches. Like last year, we went with the performance line. So last year, Energize and Hydrate and the Recover, that was all launched last year. All the Shakeology boosts were launched last year. Um, I think it was, si was Size, our big program. Oh, my God, puppy. Hi, puppy. Oh, kisses. Um, anyways, so Country Heat obviously is going to be available while we're there. Um, and, uh, yeah, and then the big thing is they release discounted tickets for the following year. So it'll be like 99 bucks versus like $300. So you either need to hit success club, meaning sell three challenge packs for each month for three months to earn your ticket, or you need to get this for $99. Otherwise it's $300 and that could be money that you put towards your hotel. Or I like to get us a big pretty house so we can all have slumber parties the whole time. I'm so excited. Um, okay, really that's all I have. I just wanted to go over Team Cup with you guys and just fill you in that we're gonna be kind of MIA next week. Uh, make sure if you have any questions, like messaging, I'm going to check my messages always. I'm always working um, no matter where I am, but it's going to be slow. So if you do have questions, please just write them right in the team page, either Diamond Tribe or Team No Limits, and um, somebody will answer you. <sighs> I never breathe when I talk on these calls. Like, I'm, like, I'm a yoga instructor. You would think I like had breathing down. No, it's like still super challenging for the titty. Uh, Misty, do you have anything? No, I was MIA, so I have no idea what you just talked about. Okay. I really, I just, I just showed them the Canadian video from for Team Cup and how to have a success, so successful Team Cup, and then um, and everyone's on board for purchasing their ticket for Summit. Uh, yeah, so the ticket will be $99 for Summit while we're there. And it will sell out. Last year it was literally gone, sold out, zip, zero, zero, zilch by the time we were flying home from Nashville. So when we say get the tickets, get the freaking tickets, we're going to be paying three times as much. And you, so you're get saying you, should get, you should get tickets now for next year's? Yeah, so while we're there, like half, like, I think it's like the Saturday. I think it's our closing ceremony. Carl's like, and you can get tickets for next year for a discounted price of $99. And everybody goes to their phone and does it right then. But they only do a certain amount for that price. Okay. So you have to, like, be paying attention. Um, otherwise, you just pay so much more. So how will we know? Like, because I kind of want to go to next year's. Yes! <laughs> oh, my God. We're going to get the biggest, baddest house ever. Sorry. Um... We just pay attention, like really plug into the team page and we're going to be letting you guys know. Okay. 
Um, I would like to say I'm going to tag you all, but I'm going to be like in the middle of like crazy coachness, like, you know, trying to like tell you guys the information and be kind of <laughs> drunk. <laughs> uh, they're also going to announce where it is. There's rumors that it's Dallas, which would be really cool. Um, but we'll know all of that next week. I can't wait. Miss um, I'll, I'll be sure to tag you. So I'll stuff. Okay. okay. Thanks. Or, Missy's good like that. She's kind of an owl. <laughs> is that what your is that what your animal is? No, you're a retriever, but you have definitely owl in you. Yeah, I do. I'm a full fucking peacock. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, that's all I got. I love you guys. Wait, we need a photo. Picture, picture, get the baby. Oh, oh my page. Hi. Hi. You Hi. Sorry, I'm empty. Say that because all of you showed up on the call today, you're gonna get a pretty little note in the mail from me. Yay! No way! Our team sticker on it! Yay! Isn't it cute? Oh, Woo! Um, where else I put them? I'm like putting I'm, them in everything. No, I'm sorry. I just picked up my phone my daughter's swimming, so I was just like, I had to, uh, you know, enjoy the moments of this. Oh, yeah. We were just going over Team Cup, so this really wasn't like any kind of groundbreaking kind of call. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, okay, photo, oh, no, everybody smile pretty. Make sure I'm gonna let everybody oh, God. Smile. sometimes everybody's like, <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I gotta get my fingers right, and I have to smile. One, two, three, keys. Yay, I got it. <laughs> has a drink. Oh, I'm so jealous. I always stop, forget to stop recording it for that part. Um, you know.